All right. Today, by popular demand, we are going to be playing The Room, the game. Uh, A little interesting fact about me is The Room is unironically my favorite movie. Ironically, my favorite movie is Spider-Man 3. It won the hearts of many, and emo Peter Parker will be in my heart forever. So, we're just going to jump right on into it. I have seen The Room in, I'm sure it's got to be in the double digits at this point. I love it, and I just love consuming all the media about The Room. And this game is no exception. The Room. Starring Tommy Wiseau. Written by Tommy Wiseau. Directed by Tommy Wiseau. What a beautiful day. (laughs) Whoa. Is that it? I don't know if I want to voice it all, actually. Holy crap, Johnny, did you feel that? Oh, hi, Mark. Yes, I did. This is very bad. The bridge just collapsed right behind me. Are you okay, Mark? <laughs> yeah, Johnny. Just very shaken up. Hello, boys. Are you alright? Oh, hi, Claudette. Yes, we are fine. Is Lisa okay? Yes, Lisa is fine, but a bit shaken up. I better get home and comfort her. <laughs> Johnny, as my future son-in-law, I expect you to provide for Lisa. Lisa has been eyeing up a red dress at the dress shop. Now would be Now would be Oh, now would be the perfect time to give her a gift. Okay, Claudette, whatever you say. I'm very busy, so I got to run. See you guys later. I'm meeting Shirley for coffee, so I need to run as well. Right, there there you go, and Greg's hot pink car, dude. Oh, oh, it's just a point and click. Let's see what's this way. (laughs) Jeez. Where is Spider-Man when you need him? Now, I have... I do know something about this game is that there's uh, secret spoons to collect, and if you get all the spoons, you get the uh, secret ending. I'm not going to promise that I'm going to get all the spoons, because uh, usually what happens is I, in any game, when I try to meticulously look for something, I I always miss just one item. Oh, the bank is closed. Oh, because Johnny works at the bank. We just don't know what he does at the bank. <laughs> Hi Johnny, your tuxedo isn't ready yet. I was actually thinking, alright, buy a dress for Lisa. She's uh... Oh, here it is. Jeez. <laughs> That's a lot of money, Tommy. Thanks, John. You're my favorite customer. Okay, bye. Oh, wait. I wonder if I can. <laughs> Epic dialogue. Uh, here we go. Oh, hi, Johnny. Oh. <laughs> and Lisa, a stunning woman as always. Oh, hi, babe. <laughs> wow, you look so sexy, Lisa. Oh, hey, guy. <laughs> hi, Denny. It's from Johnny. <laughs> Anything for my princess. <laughs> I like how they had the little laugh sound bite. How much was it? Denny, don't ask a question like that. Nice to see you, Denny. I'm going to take a nap. Can I go upstairs too? Ha <laughs> ha. There's a crowd. I think I'm gonna jo- <laughs> join Lisa for nap time. Sorry, Denny. I know you just popped in, but uh, me and Lisa <laughs> really want to get it on. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find any- Ooh! Spoon! Hopefully we'll be able to find some of them. (laughs) Standing on the bed. Hold on, let me- let me get suited for the situation, Lisa. I know how intense we get. What a great metaphor. (laughs) Just walk on it. 
jeez. I just like to watch you guys. Ha <laughs> ha, Denny boy, Denny, Denny boy. Two is great, but three is a crowd. I get it, you guys want to be alone. That's the idea. <laughs> Denny has homework to do. The... <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, Denny, while filming the movie, it was actually like 23 or 24. He was much older than whatever age he was supposed to be. In the <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tommy. <laughs> Lisa. Lisa. Lisa just looks not okay. She looks like she's been roofied and then like forced down with like a drink with roofies, barbiturates, and coke. I don't even know, dude. But she's talking. I. Uh, I probably gotta take a shower. Dude. Oh, I guess showers are optional. <laughs> oh. I didn't even see the bathtub. Um. Uh, let's go see Johnny. If I had a tape, I could listen to it here. Let's see what's uh, this one. Mark's Love Shack. <laughs> Damn, Mark. Good time. <laughs> oh yeah, Johnny doesn't drink. He just hits Lisa. Mark is handsome and he knows it. <laughs> I wonder if there's a spoon that's supposed to... There probably is a spoon in this room, but... I'm just not... perspicacious enough to find it. Mark's Love Shack is gonna have to wait. Let's go to the roof. Denny. <laughs> oh, 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 jeez. Wednesday, April 16th. Oh, I missed the first journal. I just like to watch Johnny and Lisa, but they never let me. I get it, though. They just want to be alone. <laughs> Denny's just misunderstood. We'll just go outside now. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm gonna work. Okay. I mean, I'm not sure what Johnny does exactly. Just works at the bank. Great news, Johnny. If you put your ideas to work and the bank is making lots of money. That is great. Ha ha ha. I get my promotion. Sorry, Johnny. But I'm saving you lots of money. Just a few more weeks, Johnny. You're our favorite employee. Oh, Claudette, dude. So did you get your promotion? You making more money yet? Sorry, Claudette. No, let's say a few more weeks. If you're gonna be my son-in-law, you will need to buy a house. I know, Claudette. But don't go home empty-handed. At least get Lisa some flowers before you break the news. Oh. It just restarts the whole thing. Bank of San Francisco. Okay. Let's get her some flowers. Excuse me. Alley. I'm not really feeling football right now. 
Is it is one of these the spoons? The spoons gotta be somewhere. Gotta have a dozen red roses, please. Oh, hi, Johnny. I didn't know it was you. Here you go. That's me. How much is it? It'll be $18. Here you go. Keep the change. Hi, doggy. You're my favorite customer. Oh, they didn't have the hi, doggy. Had to manually put that in. It's down here. <laughs> Plot department. Was so street. Um, what's this one? Electronics. Uh, that's probably for when he's just like, I will record everything. That's probably what that part is. I'm determined to find. At least, I want to find at least one spoon. Not in the future, it isn't. Does that mean, like, it'll eventually be her back? Yeah, I don't want to go too, too far out. Because right, I'm sure I'll have time to... I'm sure it'll bring me over there later in the story. <clears throat> Hi, Johnny. Oh yeah, I forgot I did. Thanks, honey, they're beautiful. Ooh, she's gonna have to break the bad news now. Nah. You didn't get it, did you? I mean, he did just say nah, so... I get it within three months. I saved them bundles, they're crazy. I don't think I will ever get it. They betray me. And I don't care anymore. Did you tell them how much you saved them? Of course. What do you think that I put my ideas into practice? His million dollars. He should just start his own bank, dude. I would bank at what's so banking. I'm sure the interest rates would be like good. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I want to know. Uh, I don't think I trust my credit at a bank time or so would run. The computer business is too competitive. I mean, yeah. Whatever, I don't care. I <laughs> so if he said no, then I guess he'd be disappointed. They both would be. They already ordered a pizza. What's the matter, you alright? I mean, he was just laughing. He was having a good time. You need a drink. I don't drink, you know that. <laughs> uh, there's Lisa with the scotchka. If you love me, you'll drink this. You're right, it's so good. Don't worry, <laughs> you're a good man. <laughs> Hawk yuck. You have nice legs, Lisa. You have nice pecs. <laughs> I'm tired, I'm wasted, I love you, darling. Meh. You owe me one. Dude, Tommy is just such a passive guy. <laughs> oh, it's like a fish. <sighs> There's Lisa. Uh, I... I wish I could come up with something more observant, but I can't. Lisa just stuns me right now. She just... I don't know why... Oh, those are her eyelids. She doesn't even take off her makeup when she... She just falls asleep. Does, does she, like... Has she ever washed her makeup off her face? Jesus, dude. That must be some, like... Surgically put in their makeup. Alright. Let's, uh, where are we going? Going to work. Oh, wait, no. I don't... Actually... No, I'm just gonna put on a suit just in case. I don't know if the game's gonna make me come all the way back just because I have the workout gear on, not the suit. 
I don't want to have to go all the way back. Dude, this guy is like five minutes. I'm going to walk in. He's going to be like, hey. Just a few more weeks, Johnny. <laughs> Jeez. Here, I, I'm going to search over here for a spoon again. I'm convinced there is one over here. Where is Spider-Man when you need one? Ha ha ha. Uh, it's okay. Oh, uh, sorry if like I go by a screen and miss a spoon. Um, I realize how irritating that can be when you see it, but I don't. It sounds like Denny. We gotta go save him. Is this gonna be? Is Chris R gonna be here already? We're cruising. <laughs> Where's my fucking money, Denny? <laughs> best friends oh speaking of which best friends is a great movie part one and part two were amazing <laughs> use some glamour for johnny we're gonna throw the bottle Ooh, what's this one? <laughs> an empty water bottle does more damage oh please be the yeah Throw the football. He is. Mark have a okay, we're, gonna, we're gonna try to just end him. I wonder if uh Okay, so we wanna do like the time combo then. It's probably the best way to go. Alright, alright, Chris R. Your time is up. Oh, damn. Oh, that's okay, I still got him. What's going on here? Let's take him to the police. Oh, this is cool, because in the movie, you only get to see what happens on the rooftop. Man, Chris R. is one ugly ass game baiter. Is the police station is it this way? No, because I think no, it's back. Dude, Chris R looks looks retired. Oh, no, I'm man, I was being stupid. Cause I remember there was a cop right there and that threw me off. So it's this way. It is our old friend, Chris R. Thanks, Johnny. You're our favorite citizen. <gasps> you got the shank spoon. Oh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's ten. So, yeah, I definitely missed one. Sorry, Johnny. There's no help for you here. <laughs> Thanks again, Johnny. Oh wait, can I talk to Chris R? <laughs> I mean, I guess so. Uh, should go check on down here. Or, here, let's go, let's see what's down here. Oh, if they stop glitching out, that is. Special thanks to Johnny, our favorite donor. Lisa Park. Let's see if there's anything this way. There's bound to be a spoon in the trees, too. There's gotta be. Alright, well, I'm not gonna spend too much time looking for the spoons, but. If this is where the, the mighty game of football is played. Ooh. Chlorophyll spoon. Per oh, wait. Here it is. 
The holder of the true spoon cannot be knocked over by winds less than 100. <laughs> the chlorophyll spoon can generate its own power, and the shank spoon can be snuck on planes and through metal detectors. Great. Alright, let's go back to uh, Denny. Plutonium ice cream, it's so green. Oh! We got the time spoon too. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Did not mean. Alright, well, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I mean, we got four out of ten spoons. I think, I think we're doing pretty well. <laughs> you okay, Danny? Are you okay? He just says it louder. He's taking drugs. Let's go home. I'm gonna call the police. Mom, stop it. Let's go. Why did you do this? You know better, right? I'm sorry. Why? You know better, Danny. Dude, everyone's just yelling at this poor kid. He, he, dude, he had a gun up to his head. Like, no one, no one cares that he's okay. They just want to make him feel worse. Let's go home. Now this is where, <laughs> if the game wanted to be truly accurate, it wouldn't be a rooftop. It'd just be a green screen. <laughs> Glad he was just a custodian's closet. All of a sudden, I stink. A spoon. It says, Looking good, Johnny. Just another mirror. Oh, yeah, because that's the mirror he throws something on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go casual. I'm gonna do, you know, Three outfits Johnny owns. Let's go to bed. Noise. <laughs> Chidge. I also think like Lisa doesn't snore, so there's not even like a good excuse for her mouth being open. She's just dead quiet. Just doesn't move, just docile the whole night. Um, here, it's gonna catch me. We got kitchen spoon. Travel back to the time at which it is first activated. The kitchen spoon is helped for free eating from bowls and pudding cups. Alright. Fair enough. Go to work. Just a few more weeks and you should be, <laughs> he's just gonna be perpetually waiting, just perpetually, just a few more weeks, just a few more weeks. Oh. How can I miss that every time and then I come in here and it's just like... The rock spoon is great smashing power but it's quite brittle. <laughs> smashing power but it's brittle. Okay dude. Um, I wonder if there's anything in here that I've missed. My Lisa would not be caught. <laughs> wow, that's, that's some str- I mean, yeah, I think Lisa looks better in red, honestly. Oh, there's Claudette. She found a new house and needs money for the down payment. I'd have- Help her, but I have my own problems. My jerk brother Harold. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's like a whole subplot with real estate in the movie, but it... <laughs> 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 
Oh, the rage meter. I expect you to be a little more generous. And what is it I hit? I did not hit Lisa. Lisa told me you got drunk last night and hit her. I did not. Don't get so worked up. Go cool off. <laughs> I gotta cool off on the roof. <laughs> yeah, I forgot, like... Because it's mentioned, like, the breast cancer, where, like, it's mentioned, but, like, not really elaborated on, but it gets even less attention than the... I mean, at least to me, like, you don't really... It's just... <laughs> I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Hey, hey, Johnny. What's up? <laughs> have a problem with Lisa. She said I hit her. What did you? No, it's not true. Don't even ask. <laughs> What's new with you? Well, I'm just sitting up here thinking, you know. I got a question for you. Yeah. You think girls like to cheat like guys do? What makes you say that? I don't know, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just thinking. I don't have to worry about that, cause Lisa's loyal to me. Hey man, you never know. People are very strange these days. <laughs> that quote is going up on a poster one day. I used to know a girl, she had a dozen guys, but one found, found out, beat her up so bad, she wound up on a hospital in Guerrero Street. <laughs> What a story, Mark. So happy I have you as my best friend. I love Lisa so much. Yeah, man, you're very lucky. Maybe you should have a girl, Mark. Maybe you're right. Maybe I have one already. <laughs> I don't know. I can't believe, like, when he finds out, it just doesn't click to Johnny that, like, Mark was kind of, like, not really being subtle about it. I mean, he was being subtle about it, but he was being, like, kind of a dick about it. Remember Betty? That's her name. Betty? Yeah. Yeah, we won't see each other anymore. She wasn't goody good in bed. That's too bad. My this is great when I can get it. John, you didn't even want it last time, dude. Sometimes women are just too smart. That's the problem with them these days. Thinking too much. Sometimes they're flat out stupid. Other times they're just evil. Seems to me that you're the, you're the expert, Mark. Three, like, highly generalized statements. Mark's the woman whisperer. Because she just... He's... She's just a god when it comes to women. Do you have some seat? I shouldn't even question the dialogue. Dude, Tenny looks creepy as hell, dude. Looks like like a dentist stretched his mouth. It just never, you know, there's no elast no elasticity in his lips. Just kind of stuck. What's wrong with Mark? He's cranky today. Ha ha ha. Girl travel, I guess. What's new with you? Not much. So going to the movie. <laughs> Danny, don't plan too much. It may not come out right. I kind of like the movie, honestly. They should not have planned at all. And they're just not going to go to the movie, I guess. Oh, no. Gotta tell you about something. Great catch, Johnny. Right, let's see if I can get a great throw. There we go. <laughs> Shoot, Denny. It's about Lisa. She's beautiful. I think I'm in love with her. Go on. I know she doesn't like me because sometimes she's mean to me. But sometimes when I'm around her, I feel like I want to kiss her and tell her that I love her. I don't know. I'm just confused. Denny, don't worry about that. Lisa loves you too, as a person. As a human. Man. I can't imagine being simultaneously friend zoned, human zoned, and person zoned. Yeah, that's about the response I would have, Denny. You know, people don't have to say it, they can feel it. What do you mean? You can love someone deep inside your heart and there's nothing wrong with it. If a lot of people love each other, the world would be a better place to live. 
we need to send Tommy out to be a diplomat, dude. His words. He is a word crafter. He does not speak sentences. He crafts elegant strings of words. <laughs> Lisa's your future. Why don't they say fiance? No, nobody says fiance. It's just future wife, future son in law. Danny, don't worry about it. You're a part of our family. We love you very much. Do they have like a kid? Like, they don't call their kid like, oh, our kid's not a toddler. It's a future child. Or it's, or no, our kid's not a preteen. He's a future teenager. And like, they're, like, everything's just perpetually in the future. We'll help you anytime. And Lisa loves you too. As a friend. <laughs> Double dip, man. Double dip. You're sort of, oh, person, human friend, and sun zoned. Denny, that smile looks painful now, man. I trust you and I trust Lisa. What about Elizabeth? Well, I love her. When I graduate from college and get a good job, I want to marry her and have kids with her. <laughs> also, I don't know if how many of you watching never seen the movie, but you never see Elizabeth. I mean, these are just names. Thanks for paying my tuition. <laughs> You're very welcome, Denny. And keep in mind, if you have any problems, talk to me and I'll help you. Thanks, John. Let's go, E-Haw. Take Denny to coffee shop. Thanks for paying my tuition, Johnny. I mean, if he can just afford, like, someone's tuition, I don't get why he can't just afford a house. Or at least, like... Yeah, I don't know why I can't... I mean... Maybe then he's going to like a really cheap... Oh, it's this way. Like, community college. I don't know. Still, though, it's expensive. Are there any spoons? Oh, let's try the... I don't need to pee pee or poo poo right now. I wee wee out my pee pee. That ruins for my lease. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my, I'm a customer of the year again. Johnny's just a stand-up hero in this community. Hi Johnny, what can I get for you? Cheesecake? And yeah, you I'll have the cheesecake. Congratulations, you're our billionth cheesecake served. I knew we can count on you, Denny. <laughs> this place is booming. You wanna try cheesecake even though you ordered your own? Too late, I just ate mine. Thanks for paying. Man, what a dick, dude. He didn't even like try to make conversation. Is that like. What do you call it a dine and dash, but it's with, you know, like you're not. But the bill's still paid. A Denny, dude? A dine and Denny? Oh, wait, there's a spoon. What spoon did we get? We got the the flower spoon blooms only twice a year, but it's beautiful sight to behold. So we have three spoons left. Uh, we'll get to the alley soon enough. Seriously, hello, Michelle. I heard you. A secret, dude. Johnny just wants in on all the gossip and all the secrets. I don't know why they dodged the dress question. Lisa, remember what I told you? What's she talking about? It's girl talk. I just told you that. I never hit you. <laughs> what a great segue. You shouldn't have secrets for me. I'm your future husband. You sure about that? Dude, that question would terrify me. Don't talk like- Yeah, dude, Lisa, don't talk like that, man. What do you mean? What do you think? Women change their minds all the time. <laughs> dude, this is like making women out to be terrible. Like, Mark's talking about how, like, they're just all kind of falling into separate categories. And Lisa's just... Look, I don't want to talk about it. I'm going to go upstairs. Wash up. How dare you talk to me like that? You should tell me everything. I can't talk right now. Oh, this is the... I know what scene this is. Why, Lisa? Why? 
is that please talk to me, please. You are part of my life. You are everything. I could not go on without you, Lisa. You're scaring me. You're lying. I never. Tearing me apart, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. This this game is amazing. Do you understand life? Do you? Don't worry about it. Everything will be all right. You drive me crazy. Don't worry. Good night. Don't worry about it. I still love you. I mean, <laughs> yeah. He, said, he just brushes last night off, dude. Oh, Lisa, Lisa's closed off her body, dude. Just closed body language. She's not just dead on the bed. Now she's actively turning away from Mr. Wiseau. Uh, it's good casual Saturday wear. Because we got a lot of luck finding spoons, let me see. The fire spoon is a perfect weapon. Okay, a little spoiler. I I knew there was a fire spoon. I just wasn't sure where. So I saw the fireplace, so I was like, oh, maybe, maybe it'll be in the fireplace that's burning. <laughs> Johnny, what's going on? Oh, hi, Mike. What's new? Actually, Johnny, I've got a little bit of a tragedy on a tragedy. It's a powerful word. Me and Michelle were uh, making out at your place. I think I'd have more questions, but uh, Lisa and Claudette walked in. Okay, we're going at it, and uh, I get out of there as fast as possible. Well, you know, I get my pants, get my shirt, I get out of there. And then about halfway down the stairs, I realized that I've misplaced. I've forgotten something. <laughs> uh, me underwears. <laughs> or I think it comes up later. So I come back, get it, you know, and I pretend that I need a book. You know, I'm looking for my book. And I reach my, put, put the underwear in my pocket, you know, sort of slide out real quick. Well, Claudette, she saw a stick out of my pocket and she pulls out and she's showing everyone me underwear. <laughs> <laughs> what is really like that? You must be kidding. Underwear, I got the picture. Yeah, I don't know what to do. That's life. I mean, I get. Dude, Teddy, you gotta cool with that smile, man. I gotta go. You wanna play some football? Gotta give Michelle. Come on, Mike. Let's do it. Come on. Alright, whatever. Let's go for it. I'm going out. Yeah, sorry you had to see that. I'm not sorry. Great catch, Johnny. Almost as much as I want. Studying, right? Well. <laughs> I love these gifts. I don't study like that. He doesn't. I better get the high score of this game, honestly. Hey, Denny, what's up? What's up, Mark? Oh, hi, Mark. What's going on, man? Not too much for you guys. He's just telling us about the underwear she had. Dude, don't. Underwear? What's that? Yeah, what? What is underwear? It's embarrassing. Underwear, man, come on. <laughs> you okay? You alright? You okay? Yeah, are you sure? I'm gonna go see the doctor. I'm good, man. I'm fine. I don't need no doctor. I'm gonna take him home. Mark, why don't you take him home? That's what he just said. And Mike, listen, if you need anything, call me anytime, alright? See you guys. See you guys. Let's go home, Denny. 
Is there like a brick spoon? seen it. Sweet. Thanks for walking me home, Johnny. Need two more spoons. So we might actually get the secret ending. husband. I know, but Johnny, mom, I don't, oh, ooh, he's right there too. I don't even like him. I had sex with someone else. You can't be serious. You don't understand. Ooh, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> she was the one who brought it up. You think I'm tired today? Wait until you see me after I've had a full night's sleep tomorrow. Coming to the party? Sure, I suppose so. It's the most passive-aggressive, like, acceptance I've ever read. How can they say this about me? I don't believe it. I show them. I will record everything. That's one of my favorite lines from the movie, actually. I will record everything. I need a tape. Oh wait, hold on. Is that it? No. Oh, I think I have to go to the electronic store. Spoon inside the electronics store. Oh, yeah. Here's one. An AI spoon. Alright, so we just need one spoon. Hey, Johnny, recorded your inside this week. They let you record everything. I'll never know when I may need to record this. Thanks, Johnny. You're a favorite customer. I'm so glad she runs every single store, especially with the doggy. I'm gonna check the roof actually. Again, I don't think I missed the spoon. Oh, I forgot. I. Denny's journals. Johnny and I chilled on the roof and tossed the football around. I told him my feelings, but at least he said she just sees me as a friend. With the cop shop after I got the billionth cheesecake. Then we went to the movies, saw the latest Tommy was so flick. It was awesome, but I couldn't stop thinking about kissing Lisa someday. Lisa's like a mother to Denny. Okay. Dude, that final, that final spoon is going to be hard to get. I feel like it's going to be some obscure place. I don't have any cards to make. Alright. Oh yeah, I got to go upstairs. I think I... Wait. So I bought a record... Oh, do I have to buy a tape too? Oh wait. Peter, hi Johnny. You know, I could see someone who hasn't seen the movie being very confused. As to where to put that. What man does? What's the problem? 
They never say what they mean. They always play games. I have a serious problem with Lisa. I don't think she's faithful to me. In fact, I know she isn't. I haven't heard a conversation. What shall I do, Peta? This is Lisa we're talking about? Yeah. I don't know what to say. But you are psychologists. Do you have some advice? It's a complicated situation, Johnny. I mean, you're my friend. I don't want to get between you and Lisa. But look, if you want, you should come and confront her. I can't confront her. I want to give her a second chance. After all, she's my future. You know what they say. Love is blind. Well, you got a lot of faith in Lisa. Sometimes life gets complicated and unexpected can happen. When it does, just gotta deal with it. Did you hear the door? Yeah. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hey, Johnny. Hey, Peter. We're just talking about women. Women, man. Women just confuse me. I have a girl, but she's married. How do you, like, not even consider the possibility of, like, my... Oh, well, oh, that one's married. They're not married, Joe. That makes sense. Is anyone I know? Nah, man, you don't know her. Can I meet her? I don't think so. It's an awkward situation. You mean she's too old, or you think I'll take her away from you? Huh, nah. <laughs> this dialogue is just... Peter, you always play psychologist with us. Even though he just said, like, Peter, you're a psychologist, that's why I need your advice. This is teasing me about whether we're gonna get married or not. Even though... I thought she was your future wife, I thought it was like a guaranteed thing. You never really... No. Look, you should tell her about your feelings, you, should, you shouldn't hide them. You two have been together forever. You can work it out. Not always. People are people. Sometimes they just can't see their own faults. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving to a bigger place and making some good money. Look, you <laughs> Okay, screw you, Mark. <laughs> You're right, Peter. Is she getting a divorce, Mark? You guys are too much. Hey, are you running beta breakers this year? I am, sure. Nah, I'm doing that this year. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> chicken, Peter, you're just a little chicken. Chip, 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 chip. Good, I'm glad they had that in there. Who you calling chicken? I just don't like all the weirdos. Too many weirdos. I don't mind. Ma, do you remember the one with the <laughs> big tits, the blonde one? No, how about the bridal ground with the sign? Yeah, man, can you marry me? Ha ha ha, I thought I would take her up on it. Ha <laughs> ha. I never ate so much. Yeah, the barbecue chicken was delicious. Rice, that was cool. It's a weird sentence. You're both weird. You guys wanna play cards? No, we can't think. I expect these any minute. Come on, man, who's king of the house? Hey, you guys gotta see what she's uh, like before you get married. Speaking of which, how did you meet Lisa? You never told us. Oh, it's an interesting story. When I moved to San Francisco with two say cases and I don't know anyone, I hit the YMCA here with a $2,000 check which I couldn't cash. Why not? Well, because it was an out-of-state bank. Anyway, I was working as a busboy in a hotel and she was sitting drinking her coffee. She was beautiful and I said hi to her and that's how we met. So where's the interesting part? But the interesting part is that on our first date, she paid for dinner. What? No tips from your job? Whatever. <laughs> You guys want to eat something? Let's make some sandwiches. I need to make sandwiches for Mark and Peter. Right, we gotta get the bread. Oh yeah, slice of bread. <laughs> now... <laughs> And put the sponge there. I th What's this? Is that peanut butter sponge? <laughs> peanut butter. Um. Tomato sandwich. this oh jelly hey that makes sense clump 
cleaning product. Oh. <laughs> Sponge cleaning product and jelly sandwich. Or er, rat, I'm sorry. I can't tell which sandwich I'd rather eat. The one with, uh, one ingredient meant for meant to be eaten, or two. Peter Marco, they had to run, then he says. But I just made them a snack. Apparently they weren't. Yeah, honestly, I can't say I'd be hungry if I even smelled what that was. I can't imagine someone going, yeah, I'll make you guys some snacks, and you just smell cleaning products. I mean, okay. Man, dude, this is just, let's go to bed. What if Johnny isn't tired, man? Just gonna make Johnny go to bed when he's not tired like that? <sighs> Come to bed, Johnny. Dude, I can't get over those pecs. Or this. He just does he even wipe his eyes when he wakes up? Oh, it looks like Lisa's comfortable with us again. Uh, let's see, we need to shower. Let's go. So we gotta pick up our tux. Oh, here, let's get Denny's. Out with the guys and talk football around the alley. Mike was telling me some weird story about his underwears. I was like, I don't study like that, and Johnny laughed. Then Mark came in and sort of accidentally knocked Mike over. It was weird, seemed intentional, whatever. I went out with Lisa later, but she still won't kiss me. I went home with her, but Johnny was in the kitchen, so I gave up and left. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember they like sit on the floor. Alright, maybe the last spoon that I need is gonna be in here. Oh, I mean, I already looked here, but... Maybe... Okay, the tux. Uh, I don't think... It's in here. You need to- oh, you need to try your tux before you leave. Good, Johnny, and thanks for undressing in front of me. No problem. Um... Cause we're- we're kinda nearing the end, so I'm gonna see if I can... Find the last spoon. Well, I don't think it'd be in the bank because you only get dialogue in the bank. But... Oh, I'm gonna be pissed because, like, I'm gonna miss it. Well, I already got the rock spoon, but I'm gonna miss it because it's gonna be... somewhere... Because, <sighs> like, I know I missed spoons because, like, I came back and I noticed them, like, right away. So, that's either going to be on me, or maybe, like, they just don't spawn in right away. I don't want to, like, spam click everything. Maybe there's like an area I haven't really like been to. Or here's. Okay, I got that. Oh, uh, if there's a spoon here, I'm gonna. 
I don't think I'm gonna find it. If, if we're desperate, we'll look there again, but I have, I think, a few more days in the game to try to find the last spoon. So I'm not going to be too torn up about it if I don't find it right away. I'd really like to find it sooner rather than later. But... I don't get it, I don't get it. Man, that last spoon. I wonder if it's in an area you can really only get to like at the end of the game. Tux looks great. Oh hi Susan, thanks. You look better than a slice of cheesecake. Thanks a lot. Oh hi Danny, nice Tux, you look great. Oh yeah, this is the part where they all dress in Tuxes for really no other reason than to just play football. Oh hi Peter, you always playing psychologist with us. <laughs> Wow, baby face. You look like a baby face. You guys want to play some in Texas? Nah, you gotta be kidding. Come on, Mark, let's do it. I'm up for it. Johnny? Ask Peter. Come on, Peter. Is it chicken? Cheep, 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 cheep. <laughs> Who knew that cheap, cheap, cheap was all... I was needed to convince them. Okay. Oh, what if we all walk into Denny's place? Oh, there's no, like, special... Oh, I already read that. I thought something like, Hey, what are you guys doing here or something? Some special dialogue would trigger. What could... Is the last spoon like a water spoon or something? Well, here, we gotta go to the electronics store, so... I thought my game froze, but, <laughs> like... Oof, my, can't, my computer can't even handle the room the game. This is an electronic store this way. I don't think so. Nope. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, I terrible navigator. Catch Johnny. Oh. Oh, damn it. Oh, yeah, that wasn't a good throw. Come on, come on, everybody. Catch him. <laughs> Gee, Peter, you're so clumsy. All right, that's it. I am done. Great idea, Denny. <laughs> like, does Johnny just like sweat uncontrollably from like everything, dude? He literally tossed a ball around just a little bit and he already got a shower. Go lay down. Alright, Peter, enjoy your nap. 
cheap cheap oh man why you gotta rub it in great game guys see you later hey john you want to be at the coffee shop tomorrow after work sure mark see you very soon Dude, that last spoon better be like. Is Lisa just sleeping this whole. I guess. It's daylight. Am I just gonna sleep from like 4 in the afternoon to like 10 the next day? I guess so. Just call me Garfield, cause I hate Mondays. Ha 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 ha! That was a beautifully crafted joke. I'm trying to think of the places where the last spoon could be. I feel like it might be inside the bank, but we just—I just walk in. Good news, Johnny, we just landed a new client. And I don't think they would put it in a place where, like, I feel like they put the spoons in places where you can go back to get them. Cash, girl. <laughs> Star Tommy Wiseau, the bank will make a lot of money. What do you mean, the Tommy Wiseau, Wiseau Films? Yep, that is him. Wow, he is greatest writer, director, producer, star ever. And now he's our favorite client. I have to tell my friend Mark about this when we meet for our coffee today. Just remember Johnny, the identity of our clients is strictly confidential. <laughs> you know, I just realized that this game does an excellent job of filling in all of the plot holes and questions one may have about the room. Just an all around fantasmal job. Coffee shop is no no. That's the electronics store. What was that? It was a oh uh, just a blue dot right there. It's a out of place. Got my hopes up. Thanks for coming. I'm very thirsty. I wish <laughs> I don't need to pee pee or poo poo. It. It's gonna be in that bathroom. Hi Johnny, what can I get for you? I need coffee. I have the mint tea. What size? I'll have a medium. Go sit down. Man, I'm so tired of girls games. Oh, me too, man. What happened now, Mark? Relationships never work. Why waste my own? What makes you say that? It's not that easy, Johnny. Well, you should be happy, Mark. Yeah, I know. Life is too short. You're welcome. How about something like cheesecake? It's really good. Alright. Oh, they're just gonna keep pushing the cheesecake. Oh, pretty good. We got a new client. The bank will make a lot of money. What client? I cannot tell you. It's confidential. Come on, why not? No, I can't. Anyway, how is your sex life? Can't talk about it. Why not? Oh god, I have to run. Already? Yeah, I'm sorry. Alright, it's on me. Ah, oh, see ya, see ya, Mark. Wanna go jogging Golden Gate Park? Yeah, sure, what time? Golden Gate Park, 6.30. Right on. Okie dokie, bye. I'm gonna be really pissed if, like, there's a point in the game where he does have to pee pee and poo poo. But I passed it up. I mean, oh yeah, I got home. This supposed to be going. Wait. Oh. I guess that was the. Alright, I didn't think I was gonna go to bed. Uh, let's go to Denny. I've been 
slack and all that. I'm sorry if you guys wanted to read all of... Oh, I'm gonna be so pissed if I needed to read all of these to get a spoon. That guy's dangerous. <laughs> you know what? I okay. Oh, right here. Hold on. What day is it? Okay, it's the second last day here. I think. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to do like a once over. Ugh. Oh, I missed it. I found the sinister spoon. But now I have all the spoons. Draws power. <laughs> I have all of them. So now we can get the super secret great ending. Really. Celebrate the room. I'm sorry for my just tired sounding voice. But I am determined to get through this game. Ah, oh, there he is, Mark. Hey, Johnny, how's it going? We didn't even go for a jog. Just went to catch the football. Toss the pigskin around a little bit. Oh, toss the pigskin poorly. Oh, no. Oh, that was a terrible catch. My, uh, something dropped. I had to pick it up. So, I didn't get... Mark, you better be ready. You better be ready to lose, Mark. Johnny is undefeated. That was close. Good run, Johnny. See you later. Go to work. Oh, no, it's 6.30 in the morning, then. Yeah, uh, 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 my time's all mixed up. I don't know why I thought it said, like, 6.30 in the afternoon, like, after they had coffee. And so I was like, why are you sleeping? But that makes sense. It's an early jog. <laughs> Just gotta do this, because I don't want to risk them, like, Say it, because I'm pretty sure they're gonna say you need to take a shower and put a suit on before you go to the bank. And I don't want to go all the way there just to have to come back and do this. So let's go out this way to the bank so I don't get my. You're late, Johnny. You have to stay after hours and clean up as punishment. Sheesh. I feel like he wasn't even late by that much. Unless he just doesn't care. And just... There's Lisa. Uh, 
awake. <laughs> Alright, I think this is the last day. Because... I made you a birthday cookie, it's in the kitchen. This cookie better be... Nom nom nom. Oh, I can... The nest witch. What a nice sandwich. <laughs> a rat sponge and just clean. Just soap. That's what it is. It's soap. Bye, Lisa. Oh, hi, Claudette. Bye. Oh, wait. Uh, well, here, we'll read Denny's, um... Last note is last journal entry when we get back. Johnny, see you tonight, or I mean tomorrow. What? Okay. I can't imagine a job where you walk in and they're just like, Sorry, you didn't get the promotion. That was like your whole day at work. Just a little just disappointment. I tried to meet up with Johnny again, but he worked real late last night. Oh well, soon tonight is a surprise party. Maybe I can sneak some champagne or something. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh yeah. Surprise! Happy birthday! Oh wow! Happy birthday, dear Johnny. Happy birthday to you. Hey everybody, let's go outside for some fresh air. <laughs> I mean, who needs Peter? Have you changed your mind about letting sure that money? Happy birthday, got a champagne for you. Lisa looks hot. <laughs> oh, wow, she still has a new one. Hey, you need to need some help downstairs. Let's go see what's up. He needs to keep his stupid comments in his pocket. <laughs> Some even music. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Thank you, honey. This is beautiful party. You invited all of my friends. Good thinking. You're welcome. You know how much I love you. I do. Ha ha ha. You guys getting real early. It's really hot in here. I want to go back outside. Well, the guy who, like, no, who caught them cheating? <laughs> he looks like Chris already. I have an announcement to make. We're expecting Lisa. I have to talk to you. You have to be honest with John. I agree. I'm gonna tell him, okay? I just don't want to ruin his birthday. When's the baby due? There is no baby. What? What are you talking? Oh, that's not telling me. I told him to make it. We're probably gonna have a baby eventually anyway. So. <laughs> She's gonna be like, like, when's the baby coming? The doctor said that usually the baby doesn't come until the 157th month. Which is something weird. Lisa, it's been 13 months. You just look a little chubbier. Does she like take offense to that or does she just play along with it? I feel like I'm sitting on an atomic bomb waiting for it to go off. That's some powerful writing. Lisa, we're not worried about you, we're worried about Johnny. You don't understand the psychological impact of what you're doing here. You're hurting yourself, you're hurting your friendship. I'm not responsible, Johnny, I'm through with that. I mean, at least break up with them, dude. <laughs> She's just kind of going off on her own. People are changing all the time. Jeez. I don't think Mark really loves you. I don't want to talk about it. Then stop bringing it up, Lisa. Or, no, she, I don't think she brought it up this time, but like, just, jeez, dude. Let's go inside and eat some cake. <sighs> Sorry, I couldn't lend your friend money, Claudette. That's alright, though. I'll explain to show you it's not because 
just shut up. <laughs> what are you doing? What's going on here? You really don't know, do you? Maybe I know more than you think I do, Mark. Mm. What do you want from me, huh? <laughs> Stop it. Alright, alright. Okay, folks. Everything is fine. Fighting is over. I'm sorry, Mark. Yeah, me too. Lisa, can you clean up here, please? I need to cool off before I go. <laughs> I hope he literally... <laughs> <laughs> he literally needs to cool off. This game is fantastic. What are you doing? None of your business. You're my future wife. What are you doing, Lisa? Leave her alone, man. She doesn't want to talk to you. Since when do you give me orders? Since Lisa changed your mind. Ha. Wake up, man. What planet are you on? <laughs> I think you should leave now, Mark. Don't spoil it. We're just having fun. Don't worry about it, man. Don't touch me, motherfucker. Get out. Stop it. You two are acting like children. You're gonna ruin the party. Son of a bitch, you keep your girl satisfied. She wouldn't come to me. Get out of my house. I'll kill you. I'll break every bone in your body. Oh no. The best friends have become worst enemies. <laughs> We're gonna talk to him. <laughs> Epic battle of epic proportions. Oh, he didn't even throw the football. <laughs> Tommy doesn't run. <laughs> oh, he did throw the football. I didn't see that. I wish there was more, like, strategy than just... Oh, I guess I don't always get two turns. Well, here, what if I... That's an evil laughter. <laughs> right, let's try to talk. Uh. There we go. Alright, let's see if we can do the taunts. Alright, we got him this time. Got the metal best friends. I'll kill you, bastard. You couldn't kill me if you tried. You betrayed me. You're that good. <laughs> you, you're just a chicken. Cheep, cheep, cheep. <laughs> it's over. It's over. It's not over. Everybody betray me. I'm fed up with this world. <laughs> just crying in the bathroom. He still won't come out of the bathroom. Sweetheart, he's upset. Johnny is a sensible man. He will come out. You will discuss this. Everything's gonna be okay. I just think I should be alone with him right now. I understand. Bye bye. You call me if you need me. I will. Thanks, mom. You can come out now, Johnny. She's gone. In a few minutes, bitch. Who are you calling a bitch? You and your stupid mother. Hi, Mark. I need to talk to you. Don't worry about you. <laughs> Dude, he's right there, Lisa. He's right there. Who are you talking to? Nobody. We'll see about that. Good thing I've been recording everything. The big reveal. Oh. Phone ringing. Hello? Hi, Mark. I need to talk to you. What's going on? Don't worry about Johnny. He's just being a big baby. You know I love you very much. You're the sparkle of my life. I can't live without you. You little tramp. How could you do this to me? I gave you seven years of my life. You betrayed me. Let's see what else we have on this tape. No, stop. You little prick. I put up with you for seven years? You think you're an angel? You think you're just like everyone? I treat you like a princess and you stab me in the back. I love you, I'll do anything for you just to please you. And now you betray me? How could you love him? 
Now I should ditch this, ditch this creep. I don't like him anymore. I know, he's not worth it. I'm gonna come up there and be with you. Sure, baby. Coming up. I want your body. You got it. Everybody betray me. I don't have a friend in the world. I'm leaving you, child. Get out. Get out of my life. Ah. Why, Lisa? Why? <laughs> oh, is the rage meter gonna... Is it finally gonna... <laughs> Explode. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like how it just blinks out. I smash everything. What else do I do? I smash? I think that's everything. I mean, like... No, I don't think I smashed it in the kitchen. Let's go upstairs. Oh, the gun. Sorry, Johnny. Why? Why is this happening to me? It's over. God, forgive me. <laughs> Wake up, Johnny. Come on. Is he dead? <laughs> I don't know. Is he? You don't have me. You'll never have me. You killed him. I like how he was like, yeah, I don't need him. He's just a dick. And then he, he puts it all on Lisa, dude. I think, like, Lisa's a huge dick, but I think Mark's even worse for, like, putting it all on Lisa. And then, like, Lisa's like, I guess I'll have you, Mark. And Mark is like, no. Nah. Oh, Denny. Johnny's dead. Wake up, Johnny. Wake up. He's in a better place. Both of you leave. You can drop off the earth. That's a promise. Just leave. Why, Johnny? Why? Oh. There is soul goes. <laughs> Transported up into the heavens above. <laughs> Alright, let's hope the spoon, you know, we get the cool ending now. So we got all the spoons. So tell me, Johnny, how was your time on Earth? It was enchanting for a moment, but I've had enough of that world. And Lisa, the situation with Lisa was unfortunate. Sadly, we may never understand life. I like to think they all just talk like Tommy. My best friend. He questioned what planet you are from? Yes, that is when I knew my time was come. I can't even do Tommy voice anymore. It's not the same. <laughs> he was on, he was hot on his trail. How many spoons did you find? Oh my, is that all 10 spoons? Yes, I believe it is. Wonderful. Activate the machine. <laughs> We've planet spoon. Ha ha ha. That made it all worth it. Oh, you, man. Let's party. Oh, that would a perfect end to a perfect game. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
uh, have a great day, great night, and uh, if you haven't seen The Room already, please watch it. Even if you have seen it, watch more of it. If you are Tommy so we love and hope you. Tommy is great. Keep it real, you guys. Oh. <laughs> Alright. See ya.